Because of storms and disease events uh, and emergency programs, I was recruited to go into that. I uh, found myself at the Institute for Infectious Animal Diseases here at A&M and have now started to work internationally. There are uh, any number of types of animals you'll deal with in these events. It will range from companion animals, the dogs and the cats, to livestock and horses, to even exotic type animals. Thus, when you train people, you train them to be able to work not only with different types of animals, but different types of owners. What, what I'm going to do is demonstrate for you how you can start to come out of your suit. What's the last thing we're going to take off? Texas A&M is very concerned about uh, prepping their students. They are the next generation. Here you can see that we're prepping students to protect not only themselves as they would go into an event that could be hazardous to their own health, but also in the way that they take the personal equipment off. They have to do it in a manner that uh, they are free of whatever contaminant, whether it be biologic or uh, radiologic or chemical, such that they don't take that to another farm. Having this recognition just elevates the entire program and the reality is that we need efforts like that have been present in North Carolina for many years and in Texas for many years. We need them around the country. Uh, we need them around the world. Uh, the reality is if you don't plan for animals you can't respond well. Uh, if you don't respond well then you know you're not only not taking care of the animal but you're not taking care of the people either. Uh, maybe a livestock trailer and, uh, and a truck to be able to pull it, maybe a, a box truck too. Hurricane Harvey is a great example. Uh, Texas has to train uh, their responders to respond on behalf of diseases, and those same responders had to respond to Hurricane Harvey, which was a catastrophic flood with 50 inches of flooding. It's extremely important, and, and we, we love having people like Dr. Tickle involved in this because it raises awareness to the larger uh, response community. When I trained as a veterinary student, I had no idea this job existed. And it has advanced to the point to where uh, it, it, it has uh, limitless potential. But veterinary students will only know that because uh, they're exposed uh, through opportunities like this award, to where they hear that a colleague has been recognized uh, as, as part of a workspace that they were not, uh, not really aware that existed.